Hello everyone, I'm Hyo Jung Kim from Net Systems team at Facebook. In this talk, I'm going to share our experience of running BGP in Facebook data centers at scale. This work was carried out in collaboration with University of Wisconsin and Facebook. Let me first present the motivation of our problem and the solution approach. Facebook services have seen tremendous user growth over the years, from 500 million in 2010 to around 2.5 billion now. To meet the user demand, we had to scale our compute and consequently our networks. For instance, we have grown the number of our in-house F4 switches 30 times in a span of two years. The growing nature of our networks impose requirements on our data center routing design. First and foremost, we need a scalable design to support quick growth. As our network grow, we expect failures to be common and we want a reliable design taking failures as first-class citizens. Finally, at the scale we operate, we need to be efficient in our operation to innovate rapidly while providing production reliability. We chose to use BGP as the data center routing protocol, mainly for three reasons. First is scalability. BGP supports larger topologies and prefix scales compared to IGPs like OSPF and ISIS. Second, BGP provides extensive policy controls to control route propagation and failure domains. Third, long-term stability. BGP supported the growth of the internet for over 25 years. We started with BGP on vendor devices to build our networks faster initially. We did not go the SDN route as the building the SDN routing stack from scratch would have hindered our pace of growth. While BGP has effectively worked in the internet, it has suffered from problems as well, such as long conversions after network changes like failures, routing instabilities, and misconfigurations. These problems would happen in data centers as well due to frequent failures and maintenance events. Finally, it is hard to rely only on third party support for BGP. We were not able to fix issues and innovate our networks quickly with external BGP software. To tackle all these challenges, we devised a scalable BGP routing design based on two principles, configuration uniformity and operational simplicity. To achieve reliability on the failures, we devised a set of routing policies on top of BGP. Finally, to be able to innovate fast while providing production reliability, we developed our in-house BGP implementation. We also built an automated testing and deployment framework to achieve operational efficiency. Next, I will describe key features of our data center routing design using BGP. Our network topology consists of server pods and spine planes. Each server pod contains racks, rack switches, and fabric switches. Each spine plane interconnects all server pods in a data center. Each spine plane provides a set of disjoint end-to-end -end passes between a collection of server pods. This modular routing topology design enables us to scale compute capacity and network bandwidth as needed. We increase compute capacity by adding new server pods. We increase inter-pod bandwidth by adding new spine switches on planes. Each device runs BGP and peers with all directly connected switches. We use the same configuration and policy for all switches at the same tier. We use BGP ECMP at every hub. Following the design principles of uniformity and simplicity, we designed a numbering scheme for server pods and spine planes. The same numbering scheme is used across all data centers. On the left, 
This ASN assignment on drag switches and fabric switches are reused for all server poles, leveraging BGP confederation feature. On the right, we use the same ASN number for all spine switches in each spine plane. With this, we can leverage BGP AS loop detection mechanism to ensure no route traverses through multiple spine switches. This uniformity facilitated by the reusable ASNs established well-structured AS passes for policies and automation. We control route scale with hierarchical route summarization. This enables us to minimize hardware FIP size requirement and also reduce control plane processing load. This example shows how we summarize production route within a pod. Server IP addresses are aggregated into reg aggregate route and reg aggregate route are further aggregated into pod aggregate route. In the internet, BGP policies are used to implement business relationships. In our data center, we use BGP policies mainly for these goals. First, reliability. We use policy to enforce route propagation scopes and predefine backup, pass backup passes for failure. Second, scalability. We use policy to enforce route summarization and avoid backup pass explosion. Third, maintainability. We use policy to isolate and remediate problematic devices without disrupting traffic. Fourth, service reachability. We use policy to avoid service disruptions when instances of services are added, removed, or migrated. In this talk, because of time constraints, we will focus on the first two policy goals, reliability and scalability, which implement key routing requirement. In this slide, we illustrate how we use policy to predefine backup passes for fa fabric switch one to reach rec switch one in the case of failure of direct link between them. During BGP route convergence, fabric switch one will calculate both best path and backup passes as follows. Rec switch one will originate rec prefix to fabric switch one and two. Fabric switch one will select the route as the best. Fabric switch two will advertise the route to RS or rec switch two as a backup path. In turn, it will advertise the route to fabric switch one. Then fabric switch one will select it as a backup path to rec switch one. As a result, when the link between fabric switch one and rec switch one fails, fabric switch one will switch to the predefined backup path immediately without relying on BGP reconvergence. To ensure scalability, we actively control and avoid backup path explosion. For example, after receiving the backup path at fabric switch one, we add a tag called completed backup path. Route with this tag on the advertised to any other devices within a pod or outside the pod. As a result, BGP convergence for calculating backup paths happens locally within a server pod, while we continue to advertise pod aggregate to devices in spine plane. We have been running our data center fleet with the BGP-based routing design for over five years. In this paper, we shared the details of our operational pipeline along with a summary of critical incidents over two years across our data center fleet. Here we show a high level overview of our operational pipeline. We built an in-house BGP agent, testing and deployment framework. This allows us to support BGP like any other software, enabling fast and incremental updates. With this, we update BGP configuration and agent bi-weekly across the whole data center fleet. 
these updates include new BGP features, optimizations, fixed security issues, change BGP routing policies for improving reliability and efficiency. We continue to evolve our data center routing design and operation, learning from critical incidents in production. For more details, please check our paper. In conclusion, We shared our BGP-based scalable routing design. We use BGP policies to support reliability on the failures, along with scalability, maintainability, and service reachability. We strive for operational efficiency with our in-house BGP implementation, automated testing, and incremental deployment framework. Thank you for listening. I'm now happy to take your questions.